With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question, explain the given reactions with the examples, right? To explain, first of all, A that is hydrogenation hydrogenation reaction right so first of all we talk about a that is hydrogenation reaction hydrogenation reaction so what is hydrogenation reaction right hydrogenation reaction is the reaction which involves when there is addition of hydrogen right there is addition of hydrogen to any unsaturated molecule to unsaturated molecule which make it which make it saturated right which make it saturated is known as hydrogenation right okay so let's see reaction for this if we take any unsaturated molecule like okay we take ethene ethene which is unsaturated molecule okay and if we add hydrogen molecule to it right then in the presence of nickel at 200 degree celsius okay at which the hydrogenation reaction occur so what do we get we get a saturated molecule which is ethane like ch3 bond ch3 ethane so this type of reaction is known as the hydrogenation reaction okay so now we talk about the next reaction which is oxidation reaction right oxidation reaction so first of all we talk about what is oxidation reaction so oxidation reaction like oxidation can be defined as a loss of electron during a reaction by a molecule atom or ion right and oxidation occurs when the oxidation state of molecule atom or ion increase right or oxidation reaction in which an oxidizing agent supply nascent oxygen for the oxidation right is called an oxidation reaction so let's see the reaction for this right okay if we take in all right ch3 ch2 oh this is ethanol okay and we add nascent oxygen and in the presence of potassium dichromate Cr2O7 that is K2Cr2O7 what we get right ethanol oxidizes itself and give acetyl aldehyde right this is CH3CHO which is known as acetyl aldehyde or we get this reaction after oxidation then if we oxidize ethanol again what we get we get CH3COO H right this is ethanoic acid right ethanoic acid right so what happened in this reaction in this reaction ethanol oxidizes itself and give ethanol ethanol right this is ethanol or we can say acetyl aldehyde right so this reaction is known as the oxidation reaction or in this reaction oxidation process is a uh, occurs right okay next we talk about next reaction is a substitution reaction right substitution reaction okay okay so what happens in substitution reaction when one atom or a group of atom replaces or substitutes another atom or group of atom from a molecule is known as the substitution reaction right okay we can say when one atom when one atom ion or molecule or group replaces another atom right replace or we can say substitute or substitute another atom molecule or group from the reaction from the molecule it is known as a substitution reaction right another atom okay so let's see the reaction for this if we take methane right methane and we add cl2 in it in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight 
so what happens in this reaction in this reaction cl attack on this molecule and what it, what it make ch3 cl one hydrogen ion replaces and what we get hcl okay as you can see in this reaction cl replaces the hydrogen molecule from it right and make ch3 cl so substitution reaction happens in this reaction okay so next we talk about another reaction which is saponification reaction right saponification reaction okay d that is saponification reaction right so what happened in this reaction in this reaction when esters are hydrolyzed right esters are hydrolyzed in the presence of base right in the presence of in the presence of base that is base we can take NaOH right then the reaction is called as sponification right sponification okay so let's see the reaction for it right so suppose first of all we take ester that is ch3 coo ch3 this is our ester right and we add naos that is base to it and what we get ch3 coo and a plus ch3 oh right okay and we can also say that saponification is the hydrolysis of an ester under the acidic or basic condition to form a alcohol or the salt of the carboxylic acid right so here this is methyl ester this is methyl ester and in the presence of base what we get carboxylic salt which is known as sodium acetate right this is sodium acetate and also what we get methanol that is alcohol right and this is methanol right and this process is known as saponification reaction and saponification is commonly used to refer the reaction of the metal alkali with a fat or oil to form the soap right okay so next we talk about the last reaction that is combustion reaction right combustion reaction okay so first of all we talk about what is a combustion reaction right so next is combustion reaction right so what happened in this reaction in this organic compound burn e burn readily in air to form co2 right okay in this organic compound organic compound burn in air to form co2 right to form co2 and this type of reaction is known as the combustion reaction so let's see the reaction for this we can say we can take c2h5oh that is ethanol and in the presence of air what we get then combustion reaction is occur in this reaction there is a co2 and three water molecule plus a lot of amount of energy will be released in combustion reaction right so this is a type of combustion reaction okay so here all of the reaction which we explained here okay all right thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today